This video is for dream chasers who are ready to unlock the superpower of never giving up. Let's dive into the world of persistence. Imagine you're Thomas Edison. You've just failed 1,000 times to invent the light bulb. Most would quit, right? But not Edison. He famously said, I haven't failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's persistence, folks. Or picture this. You're J.K. Rowling. You're a single mom living on welfare, and your book about a boy wizard gets rejected by 12 publishers. Do you give up? No way. You keep pushing and boom. Harry Potter becomes a global phenomenon. Now let's talk about the king of rock and roll. Elvis Presley was told by the manager of the Grand Ole Opry, You ain't going nowhere, son. You ought to go back to driving a truck. Ouch! But Elvis didn't let that stop him. He shook those hips all the way to stardom. Speaking of shaking things up, ever heard of Colonel Sanders? He was 65 years old, broke, and living in his car. But he had a killer fried chicken recipe. He was rejected 1,009 times before someone finally said yes to his Kentucky Fried Chicken. Talk about finger-licking persistence. Let's hop over to the tech world. Steve Jobs was fired from the company he founded. Did he curl up and cry? Nope. He came back stronger, gave us the iPhone, and turned Apple into a trillion-dollar company. Now that's a comeback story. Let's dive into a world of more unstoppable spirits. Picture Walt Disney, fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination. Imagine that. He faced bankruptcy and multiple failures, but persisted. The result? A magical empire that's touched billions of lives. Or consider Oprah Winfrey, fired as a television reporter because she was unfit for TV. She pushed through racial and gender barriers to become one of the most influential media moguls in history. Let's talk sports. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. But he used that rejection as fuel, practicing relentlessly. Six NBA championships later, he's considered the greatest basketball player of all time. In the world of science, meet Vera Wang. She failed to make the U.S. Olympic figure skating team, then was passed over for editor-in-chief at Vogue. Did she give up? No way. She pivoted to fashion design at 40 and built a bridal wear empire. Persistence knows no age or field. How about Ariana Huffington? Her second book was rejected by 36 publishers, but she kept pushing. Today, she's a media powerhouse and founder of The Post. Let's hop to the music world. Jay-Z couldn't get signed by any record labels. So what did he do? Created his own. Now he's not just a rapper, but a business mogul worth billions. Well, let's add Stephen King to our list of persistent authors. His first novel, Carrie, was rejected 30 times. He even threw it in the trash. His wife fished it out, and the rest is horror history. In the tech world, we talked about Steve Jobs. Now, let's mention Jack Ma. He applied to Harvard 10 times and was rejected every time. He even applied to KFC and was the only one out of 24 applicants not hired. Today, he's the co-founder of Alibaba, one of the world's largest e-commerce companies. And let's not forget about the world of invention. James Dyson went through 5,226 failed prototypes and his savings over 15 years before finally creating his revolutionary vacuum cleaner. Now Dyson is a household name. Even in Hollywood, persistence pays off. Harrison Ford was told he'd never succeed in the movie business. He refused to give up, working as a carpenter between auditions. Then came Han Solo and Indiana Jones. But it's not just about famous folks, it's about you. Maybe you're struggling with learning a new language, writing a book, starting a business, losing weight, mastering a skill, working on an invention. Whatever it is, remember, every no is one step closer to a yes. Here's your persistence playbook. One, embrace failure as a teacher. Two, set small, achievable goals. Three, celebrate every tiny victory. Four, surround yourself with supportive people. Five, keep your why in sight. Every no is one step closer to your big yes. Success isn't about never falling. It's about getting up one more time than you fall. As Winston Churchill said, 
Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Great Muhammad Ali said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. When you feel like quitting, think of Edison's light bulb, Rowling's wizards, Elvis's hips, Colonel's chicken, and Jobs's iPhones. They all started with one more try. Your breakthrough might be just around the corner. Are you persistent enough to find it? It's not over until you win. Keep pushing, keep trying, keep persisting. Your future self will thank you. These stories aren't just about famous folks. They're about the power of human spirit, your spirit. What's your persistent story? Share in the comments and let's inspire each other. Smash that subscribe button for more tales of triumph over adversity. Drop a comment with your persistent story. Let's inspire each other.